databases work great when you're wired into the network. But what do you do when you're stuck in the middle of nowhere with no data connection? So what if we had an app that would allow us to text our database? Let's do that by opening a text message and sending a request to the database for a template. In a few seconds, our database is going to respond by sending us another text message that will give us an idea of what we can enter in and the fields that are available to us. We'll copy the template and paste it into a message back to the service. This database is being developed for medical professionals working in remote parts of Kenya where there is no internet access or very little internet access and sometimes rarely even power but there is cellular coverage allowing for text messages. We'll create a new record by using the add action and enter in the specifics for each field that was described in the template. Once the template is filled out, we can simply hit the send button and a text message will be sent back to the database. A few seconds later, the service will respond with a text message letting us know that it did receive the data and has created a new record in the database. Let's have a look at what that looks like in the Fusion table online. Note the last entry in our Fusion table. Being able to add a new record to the database is great, but it would also be useful if the database could do things for us. In this example, we'll send a request to the database asking it to give us the statistics on HIV patients uh, that have been recorded. We use the action HIV to request statistics. and the system responds telling us there are three HIV positive out of the seven people in our database. Next let's try to find somebody in the database. We do this by sending another request using the find action. We'll have to specify the column, in this case we want name, and we'll just use the key JA to find everyone who in the database whose name starts with JA. And here we see we have two matching records, Jackson and James. Note that the database has also returned the specific identifier number. This is helpful in allowing us to request the view action, which will bring back that specific record according to the CID. And again, in a few seconds, our service will respond giving us that specific record. I hope you've enjoyed our little demonstration of how to use Google Script and Fusion Tables along with text messaging to work in remote parts of the world. Thank you.